it's your girl Fa Fierce. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me video. I'm going to be focusing a lot more on skincare and makeup and I haven't done this in a while and I hope you're excited. So in this video, I'm going to be introducing you guys the Hairscar Anti-Acne Range. So it's an anti-acne range which I reach for when I'm breaking out. It has a lightweight formula which allows quick absorption into the skin but it's gentle and doesn't dry out your skin at the same time. You excited yet? Let's jump into the video! So the first step is to cleanse. This is the Hero Scar Anti-Acne Pore Purifying Cleanser which has a gentle formula and deeply cleanses the skin without drying the skin. This removes excessive dirt and sebum and balances the skin's moisture as well. So what you need to do is to just wet your face with clean water and gently massage the gel on your face and rinse thoroughly. Ding! When I'm breaking out, I tend to go for lightweight moisturizers and the Hair Scar anti acne Pore Purifying Serum is perfect for that. This reduces excessive sebum which can cause acne formation, tighten pores and has a light and non-greasy texture. So after cleansing, apply it to your face, all over your face basically, once in the morning and once before bed. Last step is the Hero Scar Anti-Acne Spot Gel. This is definitely the star of the show. I find myself reaching for this product whenever I have acne. This reduces black hits, white hits, and pimples. This product has salicylic acid which is great for anti-acne benefits. And it has vitamin C to lighten acne scars um, and spots and dark marks. I highly recommend this product as it does... What it says. Whenever I have breakouts, I always find that my pores are extra visible, which is why I decided to go for a pore filling primer. And then for foundation, I don't like to pile it on when I have problem skin. I just like to keep it light because the more you pile it on, the more obvious it'll be. So just keep it light and natural, girls. For the natural glow, I've been loving this Charlotte Tilbury liquid highlighter and I just apply it all over my face. It's called a flawless filter foundation, but I use it as a highlighter. Love this. These days, I can't be bothered to f take up so much time to fill up my brows which is why I love this brow product from Benefit. It has fibers in it and it just builds up your brow naturally and it's super super quick too. I'm in the shade number 5. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. By the way guys, I'll have all the products listed in the description box down below. So make sure you read the description box. For this look, I'm not going to go too crazy with the eyes but I'm still applying primer. I'm just taking a brown color shade and applying it all over my crease and make sure it's all blend out before I move on to mascara. Stay a while, you'll see my mascara trick that'll make your curls last all day long. Ever since I found out about this technique, which is heating up your lash color before you apply it on your lashes, I am addicted guys. I use this technique religiously but first, you need to test it at the back of your hand if it's um, bearable, if the heat is bearable, then you can apply, apply it on your eyes. Be careful not to burn yourself and this technique will keep your lashes like up all day long and if you don't want to apply mascara, that's fine too. It will still be up. It's crazy how the curls will last. Give it a try, let me know what you think. For brighter and bigger eyes, apply a nude or white eyeliner and that'll do the trick. I still need to do something about those bags under my eyes so I'm just lightly concealing the bags, the eye bags, I'm talking about the eye bags under my eyes and blending it out with a beauty blender. I don't usually go for compact powders but I love this one particularly because it's waterproof, it doesn't make my face look cakey and it's perfect for under eyes. These days, I don't like to contour anymore especially if it's in the daytime, I prefer to bronze um, and that's what I'm doing here, just around the cheeks, around my forehead, and around my chin area. I never go out without wearing blush. It just makes you look healthy and glowing and more awake. If you have acne on your cheeks, avoid using blushes with shimmers. Just use matte blushes. And then we also move on to highlighter. And oh my god, look at that highlighter. It's crazy. I should have just tested it out. It was my first time using it. So always remember to test out the product at the back of your hand before applying it on your cheeks. I learned that the hard way. If I can avoid using lipsticks, I do. And right now, I just happen to love lip balms. And this one is just great for everyday wear. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel oily. It just feels like nothing. And I love this. To give my lips a little bit of definition, I line the outer part of my lips with a lip liner that looks closest to my lip color. 
set your face with any setting spray you have and you're good to go. I hope you guys like my video and I hope you enjoyed this look and learn a thing or two. Please tag me in any of your Instagram posts or Twitter posts and leave a comment down below telling me what products you're excited to try out the most. And that's all for today guys. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Much love. Fa. Bye.